Hello, how is everybody today? I want to talk about, we talked uh, Monday about step one of breakthrough transformation, how there's five steps to making a breakthrough. And I want to do step 1B because after I was done, I thought, you know, I kind of left out, I think, a key piece. Now, if you're watching earlier, I don't know what happened. My internet just dropped and that was that. This, the 1B step is really to answer your calling. And I mentioned that Monday saying everybody has a true calling. Everybody has a unique purpose. So many people, especially women, especially women 50, 60, and 70, are so afraid to answer the call. One, because it's hard for them to accept how great they are, how there is nothing you cannot do if you set your mind to it, if you can see it and believe it. And that's the key. You know, I, I coach many women are like, yeah, I could see me owning this multi-million dollar business. And then I say, but do you believe it? And they're like, well, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. That's not how you believe it. The belief is, hell yeah, I believe it. Absolutely, I can see it. But because so many women were raised to kind of step back, kind of, um, you know, make sure their husband was out front, you know, their husband's job, their kids and everything. They, you know, they took the second seat, you know, that, that show, um, I forget the Christmas music movie. Um, you're going to shoot your, your eyes out that a Christmas story, I think, you know, where the mother's sitting there serving everybody while they're eating the kids are eating and she can't even sit down. That, that burns on your self-worth until you get to the point where you're so busy supporting everybody else, you're just exhausted. You're just happy to have this job, but you keep getting this restless feeling, especially it starts about 45 and it's just, it's like a drum beat in your head. By the time you get to 50, 55, 60, it's a loud drum beat. And, it, and it's your, your soul telling you now's the time you've ignored this drum beat all these years, answer the freaking phone. What are you unique at? What is your calling? What is your blue rose? And then I'll, I'll have women say, well, I got this job here and I'm doing really well. That's fantastic. You don't, nobody says quit your job today and go figure it out. I mean, I have a lot of friends that have done that. You know, you can run two parallel tracks. You can do this track or you figure on this side, who are you? And that, you know, when people ask me, I don't know who I am. I always tell them, what books do you read? What games do you play? What, what do you seek on the internet? Who are your role models? Who do you model your life after? Who do you think when you see them, you're like, man, I wish I could be like that. Because that's your soul telling you. Your soul will, your soul will always show up and tell you what you want. I mean, before I took this job and started Arizona Alpha, there was somebody that was at a different association doing nursing homes. And I remember watching him and thinking, man, I could do that job. I could go around and and glad handle and you know guide people that's right up my belly work it's what i do coaching people and so when we started arizona alpha it fit, fit hand and glove to what i do because my whole life i have been coaching people i've been coaching people since i was probably five or six years old i can remember sitting and talking to the neighbors who were you know 30 40 50 60 one one neighbor was probably mrs trencher trencher she was probably 70 years old when we were talking about what she really wanted to do with her life and how she let things pass by. And maybe that's why I'm so passionate because I was surrounded by these older women who were filled with regret, who just kind of let their life go by. My Aunt Rose, who lived proud and loud and lived out loud at the end, was filled with regret for the things she didn't do. You know, because she never got married and she chose not to get married. She was happy, but she felt because she let that beat away at her and didn't take chances over here because she was like, well, I never got married and maybe I'm not complete. You know, you watch that. You don't want that to happen in your life. You absolutely positively do not want that to happen. Answer the call. If you're feeling restless because we ignored it, you're going to get more restless and more restless and more restless until eventually the universe is like, okay, you're ignoring this call. We've showed you the books you read. We've showed you the people you modeled. We brought people to you. Mentors who've done everything you can, you're ignoring it. So we're going to get knocked louder and louder. And then all of a sudden you're looking around going, why is nothing working out? Everything I used to touch turns to gold. Why isn't it working out? That's the universe's way of saying you're not listening. Listen. And if you still ignore it, then bad things happen. And it's the universe saying, listen. And then next thing you know, you're 90 years old and you're saying, man, I should have listened. Let's not do that. Okay. Admit your true call. Admit, yes, you're that great. Admit that all you want to do at the end of life, all anybody wants to do from the minute they're born until they die is just be happy. Don't you want to be happy? The only way you're going to be happy is if you follow your heart's calling. The only way you're going to be happy is if you live your authentic life. 
The only way you're going to be happy is if you follow your call and live your best life. And I want to help you to live your best life. So I hope this video helped you. Um, tomorrow is step two. And of course, I left my notes behind. So let's see if I have my bag here real quick. What step two is. Um, step two is how do you, there you go. Start to look within. How do you identify yourself? Who who do you think you are? And I don't mean that like, who do you think you are? I mean, how do you identify who you are? Are you, what area in your life are you dissatisfied with? Because that's another clue. The area where you're kind of like, oh, you know, if I could change one thing. And that, that growing um, stuff of um, dissatisfaction turns into pain. What once you got a lot of pleasure out of turns into pain. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. I hope this helped you guys. Please, if you have any comments, write it in the comments below. If you want to do some coaching, you know, I have a five-week coaching program. I also do three months coaching. But my three months coaching, you, you have to do the five weeks first before you jump into the three months. Because not everybody, you know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And when somebody commits to three months and then they're like, mm, you know, mm, you're kind of, um, you're kind of bold. You know, or you're kind of tell it like it is. And then we, you know, it's just, I don't, I want people to be happy. So if you're interested in coaching in five weeks, check out my website. I'm going to do an online course. I would hope it would be done by February 14th. But I have a full-time job that I absolutely love. I'm so blessed to have this job. And we're in legislative session right now. And that seems to be going more, probably because COVID is ending, than I anticipated. But the online course will be here shortly. Hope this helped you guys. Please let me know if you need anything at all. I want every person on this planet to just be happy. Have a great day, y'all.